Santa Claus is here. Uh, he does have, let's see, uh, actually, yes, he does. He's got one of his little uh, helpy helpers with him, you know, a famous elf. Um, we're going to bring them both on here. So two for one, you know, everybody. Um, I think that's just great. So uh, what we're going to do is uh, just have them come on in and have a sit over there, get them all hooked up on their microphones and everything. And, uh, you know, uh, whoa. <laughs> wow. Can you get through the door there, Sam? Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, hello. I mean, oh, excuse me. Ho, 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 ho. Merry Christmas. Yeah, let's get some of those going. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you don't want to don't want to forget the ho ho hoes and all that good stuff, Santa Claus. Okay, uh, you know we welcome you and uh, your elf. Uh, if you would uh, please introduce your elf, ladies and gentlemen. This is Santa Claus, Saint Nick, Chris Kringle, uh, the big red fat man, or whatever you want to call him, and uh, his his elf. Now, I'll be honest with you, Mister Elf, I don't know you. Uh, if you would, Santa, just introduce him, and uh, we'll get on with the, the interview. Oh, gee, I, I, actually, I, I thought you knew him. Uh, that's his name. His name is just Elf. Uh, just Elf. So, uh, Elf, uh, meet Visa and Ned, and uh, everybody, you know, uh, in Radio Land. Yeah, and oh, yeah, ho, ho, ho. Yeah, ho, 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 ho. Well, yeah, uh... That's my name. Uh, I am Elf. Uh, you guessed it. Uh, and, uh, oh, yeah, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, everybody. That's right. Okay. All right, uh, Mr. Elf, we're glad to, to meet you and, and Santa and everything. And it's the first time that I know of anybody having y'all two on a radio station at the same time. Maybe ever. Who knows? Um, but anyway, we've got some questions we want to ask you. And I know that... Our listeners have, you know, have so many questions on their mind. Santa Claus, think about it. I mean, the the great mighty legend that we all grew up hearing about. And here you are. And quite frankly, I mean, i got questions of my own. And so we want you to just, you know, tell us what you can. I mean, I know there's got to be a little bit of air of mystery about you. Uh, that's just, you know, the whole thing about you is, is being well known. But yet at the same time, having a little bit of, of air of mystery. You know, what makes Santa Claus tick? If you could give us some of that, we would really appreciate it. But uh, we're going to start out here, and I'm just going to ask you this first question. And, uh, you know, either one of you can jump in any time. You know, just feel free. But, but it's directed at Santa Claus, first of all. Um, how cold is it at the North Pole, and how can you stand living up there? Th that's what I've always wanted to know, first of all. Uh, actually, uh, to be honest with you, be <clears throat> wow, my voice is getting a little deeper. Hmm. <laughs> I must be catching a cold. Uh, I, I, uh, that's how cold it is up at the North Pole, if you really want to know there, you see. But uh, anyway, uh, it's, uh, it's really cold up there, and we have a special kind of insulation that we use. Uh, we actually make clothing out of it, too. It's, it's called Santa Wear. Uh, Santa Wear is outstanding. Uh, but uh, we make it out of reindeer fur, okay? Um, you know, hey, reindeers don't live forever. Sorry, kids. But uh, we got to use uh, everything we can. We don't waste nothing. But uh, we, we use uh, a reindeer insulation. It's, it's actually pretty neat. Okay. <laughs> Sorry to hear about them reindeer, man. But uh, uh, that's interesting. I didn't know that. Okay, um... Hey, uh, Ned, uh, jump in here, buddy. Uh, what, what's something you've always wanted to ask Santa Claus? You know, here's your chance. I know when you were a child, you had to, I know you believed in him. And so, here, ask him something. Okay, you're right. I mean, I, I do have something I need to ask him. Uh, Santa Claus, you ever heard the term breaking and entering into a house? Uh, Ned, I stop it. That's enough. That. That's enough. Okay. All right. Well, let's, <laughs> let's. Let's go to to another topic, if you don't mind. You can disregard that, ladies and gentlemen. Ned strikes again. Uh, yeah, I, I know about breaking in, and I, I've warned him about that. But uh, you know, I mean, shut up, Elf. Uh, anyway, uh, uh, go, uh, what what are the questions you have, VC? <laughs> okay. okay. Um, yeah, uh, this is the big one, uh, along the same lines, but obviously not. Uh, going down a chimney. Okay, you know. Um, I know a lot of old fireplaces 
had big chimneys. You know, you, you could buy, anybody could crawl up and down those things, okay? Uh, but today, you know, things are a little bit different. Uh, what do you do? How do you handle that? I mean, some of these little chimneys, you know, they got these little vent holes. I mean, and I'll be honest with you, Santa, you're not the, you know, the skinniest guy in the world, okay? Uh, so how would you handle getting down these little bitty chimneys? Butter. Lots of butter, they say. <laughs> that's, that's the best stuff. Just lots of butter. Uh, pry bars, crowbars, all kinds of burglary tools. You know, he's the master of that, uh, you know. Uh, uh, <laughs> Elf, how'd you like me to tie your head to that sleigh out there and kick it into high gear? Oh, pardon me. Ho, 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 ho. <laughs> Uh, I can't help but notice this, but, uh, Elf, you, you seem to be a little bit, uh, adamant towards Santa. Uh, uh, anything you'd like to tell us? I mean, you know, you, uh, you do seem a little, a little angry here. I mean, y'all fellas getting along okay? Uh, he, he doesn't need to answer that. Uh, you know, he... Uh, hold on, you giant Christmas turkey. I can answer myself. Uh, uh, actually, I am a little bit adamant. You know, us elves, we, we just don't get the, uh... We just don't get the doggone uh, respect we ought to get. And uh, I don't know. I, I, I get a little upset sometimes. Now, yeah, I was noticing that. You are a little upset. I mean, what exactly gets you? I know this is getting a little off topic of, you know, questioning uh, Santa Claus's legend and all. But, but you know, this is good news. Uh, what What's the, the thing that's getting you so upset? Or, you know, speak for the elves. You know, this is a free speech, man. Uh you know, let us know what the deal is. You know, what makes you angry? The work conditions, the benefits. You know, we don't even get dental. You know how many elves have periodontal disease? It's unreal. Heck, we eat snow all the time. <laughs> Dang, um, something's got to be wrong with that. Oh, and did Santa tell you about how the workshop is more like a sweatshop up there? Good gosh, man. Slave driving all the time, and you know. Hey, now, that, uh, that's a matter of opinion. That, that's a that's a complete matter of opinion, man. I, I treat everybody. Uh, oh, excuse me. Ho ho ho! Merry Christmas, kids. I'll be bringing you plenty of toys later. Okay. All right. Uh, uh, maybe we better not go there. That sounds like y'all got some issues you need to work out. Uh, let, let's get back to the subject at hand then and everything. Uh, okay. Uh, another question that uh, I know our listeners are wanting to know. Uh, how you know? How does a sleigh fly? with reindeer uh you know it's not really common knowledge that that reindeers can actually fly i'll be honest with you they they're just animals okay and but you got a team of them uh that that supposedly fly you all over the world in one night mind you uh tell us how that happened or, or can you or is that some kind of guarded secret uh, actually that is a very very guarded trade secret uh that gives Santa Claus his mystery and his ability to do the things he does. Uh, so, um, you know, it is. It, it's a really deep, dark trade secret, I'm afraid. He can tell you. He can tell you. Man, I don't care what he says. It ain't It ain't no secret. It's simple. It's stupid. Heck, you can buy the parts at your local hardware store to make it happen. Go ahead, Santa. Tell him. Come clean, man. You've been trying to put a patent on that for years, and they won't give it to you. Go ahead. Uh, well, anyway, uh... Uh, now, here's my question, Santa. Uh, you obviously get a lot of mail. You've got to get a lot of mail during the year. I mean, all these little kids mailing you stuff and everything. Uh, do, do you really take the time to read every one of those letters? I mean, you know, that, that's a lot of reading, man. Looks like you wouldn't even, you know, have time to do anything else. Uh, that's a very good question, Ned. Uh, I read every single letter, and I, I try to, to follow them to the T. For every child that writes me a letter. Good gosh, if that ain't the biggest lie I've ever heard, that lie's bigger than you are, Santa. Good gosh. Oh, good gracious, man. I tell you what, you guys, I I uh I didn't realize an interview with Santa Claus would have me laughing so much. I'm about out of breath. Uh I tell you what, we're gonna have to take a little short break here, man, and uh y'all guys go out, step outside in the snow or something and cool off a little bit. Uh Okay, everybody, this is DJ VC and Ned. Uh, we're talking to Santa Claus and his uh, famous elf, Elf. That's his name. Okay, so Santa Claus and Elf. Uh, we'll be back with them in just a minute right after this break. This is VC and Ned. 